All right, listen up. First day of a new school year. Let's get this out of the way. I don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. So shut up. Listen to what I say, and we'll all be able to go home sooner rather than later. But Mr. Lee, what if we have vital questions about the... There we have it, our first troublemaker. You'll be saying after class to wipe the whole classroom down. But... No buts except for this one. You see this? This is a cutie mark. Now, some pony at some point in time decided that these things are a representation of what your special talent is. Now one might think that a flower cutie mark like mine might be a florist, but apparently the actual calling this dumbass thing leads me towards is working Psst. with young foals Hey like Apple you Bloom, rather spend do you think you could do me a favor and pass this to Silver Spoon? Apple Bloom, are you passing notes? Oh, for Celestia's sake. Now listen here, you lot. You see this picture? This was me in a better time, when foals and colts were disciplined and sophisticated. Free to do whatever we want, and not dragged down by the institution of the cutie mark. Oh, I really like your mane, Miss Shirley. It looks rad. No pony cares, Twist, and never say rad again. You just earned yourself another week of after-school cleaning. Anyways, what's this note? Now see? This right here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Your generation would rather pass around notes about your dark rituals than listen to words of wisdom from an elder. I'm done today. Class is smissed. Except for you, Apple Bloom. You have to twist after class for such horrible penmanship. Wow, Apple Bloom, you clean up that classroom super duper fast. Where'd you learn to clean that well? What about Diamond Tiara? Is that what our actual note said, or is that the secret code you used to let Silver Spoon? Y'all are gonna just keep asking questions until I respond, or am I gonna have to do something that you're gonna regret? Uh, Apple Bloom, sorry to bother you, but remember the note that I asked you to pass? You're not mad or angry at me, are you? I didn't think you would get in trouble for it, and I'm really sorry. You know, if you want, maybe we could all talk to your sister and let her know that it was partially my fault as well. You know, y'all are sickeningly happy. Haven't you ever thought of just letting them loose? Why do I need to do that? I come from the richest family in Ponyville, so my life is set, allowing me to just enjoy my time with good friends. Like Silver Spoon here. Oh, what about you? You must have spoons. I mean, friends to enjoy time with, right? In my line of work, I don't need fr- Oh, for sure. Her and I are becoming quick friends. That's great, I'm so happy for you. You two should come to my cutesanera in a few days. Then we can all get to know each other better. We've got to go, but we'll see you there. <sighs> and this is why I need to get better with my assassin training. Apple Bloom, I hope you know how disappointed in you I am. Your penmanship on this note is just awful. You're an apple, and if you want to take over the farm one day, then y'all need to work on it. Also, if you're going to make threats like this to ponies, you need to be more discreet about it. Blackmail requires no loose ends. That's actually good advice. But what about my assassin training with Sakura? I told you how that was what I wanted to work on. <sighs> this again? You're a filly. What damage could you possibly do to anyone? You know what? Listen. You proved to me that somehow this is a business that can bring money into this family, and y'all can do whatever you want. But until then, you go give Granny sponge baths. Making money off of misfortune. Well, Sakura's gone for a while, but who else can do that? Please, Rainbow. Y'all are one of the best at causing bodily hard to ponies and getting paid afterwards. Listen, Apple Bloom, you don't need to listen to what the press prints about me. It's just like a PSA printed about the Wonder Vaults. You mean that open one? Haha, uh -huh, no, that was months ago. I mean the intern abuse, but that's beside the point. They're all lies. 
Point is, all those things you heard about me were accidents. Exactly. You make things look like accidents. Now if I can figure out how to make things look like accidents, then I'll surely be able to get people to hire me for my assassin business. Rainbow, this is a perfect plan! Well, I might be wrong, but from what I see in the movies about assassins, they don't normally go around telling ponies what they do. They're sneaky, covert, like fog, or cancer! Oh man, I remember I watched this one movie about them. Oh boy, it was like watching a unicorn do magic. Magic? For assassins? Ha, that's Fall's play. What you need, Apple Bloom, are cupcakes. Cupcakes? Cupcakes? Not just any cupcakes, poisoned cupcakes. I may mainly deal with demonology, but every gal should be able to whip up a quick cyanide. I like the color of your drip, Pinky. Can you teach me? Absolutely. And in return, you can help me summon my new friend. His name is Horatio. Now you see, Apple Bloom, making poison is easy. It's making the poison subtle that's the hard part. You see, it's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake, but if you boil the venom of it too much or put one too many razor blades in, guards and taste testers will easily be able to catch it. Makes sense. Alright, I know I can do this. Well, on the bright side, if I can't get any pony to eat these, at least they're hard enough to cause blunt force trauma. Not bad. It's got a nice crunch with a hint of sulfur and cyanide. Can't even get to poison right. Damn it, I really thought I'd be good at it too. <laughs> oh, silly. My body has become immune to poison over years of exposure to every single type found in Equestria. I remember this one time I met this funny little stallion named Venezi. We had a bet over which cup of juice was poisoned. I don't get the drill. They were both poisoned! Isn't that hilarious? Pinky, I swear to Celestia, if you're summoning another demon, I'm going to uh, get Spike to figure out how to keep your ritual tools away from you. Try that. Maybe you can help me become a better assassin. Is there a magical way that I can make myself better at dispatching my enemies with extreme cells? I've truly gone mad if talking to a filly about assassination is by for the course of me. Uh, there are some ways that you can appear visible, I guess, but they don't really work on ponies other than casting the unicorn themselves. What about a cutie mark? That'd be a great disguise! I'm pretty sure a cutie mark won't hide you from others. But Twilight, I want it now! Ugh, fine. Tell me when to stop. Wow, that was awfully referential. Maybe you're right, Twilight. Maybe a cutie mark isn't the best disguise. So this was all just a waste of time. No, oh, good. Nice. Fantastic. Great. Wonderful. Good to know. Uh, I'm gonna go yell at Spike to relieve my migraine. But what about my disguise idea? Just wear a dress or something. We're all naked in this country anyway, so long as the person you're talking to is an idiot, you'll probably fool them. Forget it. I'll figure it out myself. You adults are mostly useless anyways, as long as I don't go to any densely populated areas, I should be able to- <laughs> Fuck. How the hell am I here? Ooh, ooh, I know! Thank Horatio! Such a jokester! Have a hat! Last thing I need is to deal with more dumb goody two-shoes idiots like- Twist! Glad you could make it. Damn, crap. Uh. Just wear a dress or something. We're all naked in this country anyway, so long as the person you're talking to is an idiot, you'll probably fool them. Screw it! Ooh, hello there! I don't think I've met you before. That's alright though, you're here now and that's what matters. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, how about we introduce you to some spoons? I mean, ponies. Great idea. Twist, come over here for a second. I'd rather give Granny a spud bath. Apple Bloom, were you practicing that assassin stuff again? No, I was just dolling myself up for you. What do you think? Listen, I've tried to be nice with you. I've tried looking past your... interest. But ponies... This filly is actively practicing to become a killer. Does this not bother any of you? I mean, this is Equestria. A land of happiness and love and goodwill. We should have no place for actions like this. So what if she's trying and stuff like this guys are out for me? Yeah, I mean, every pony has probably done some mean things at some point. I've convinced ponies to give me stuff before. And just because I beat up a couple of cults for cutting in line for Wonderbolts tickets, it's not like I did any permanent damage. Besides, don't you all remember a time where you wanted to just do a mean thing to another pony but knew it would cause you trouble? If anything, we need ponies like Apple Bloom to do the dirty work for us. That adorable marshmallow is right. Why do all the hard work ourselves when we can pay others to do it? We should be going to ponies like Zakora to solve our problems. I... what? You... you can't be serious. 
You're all promoting criminal activity. I guess I should say thank you guys for helping me out there. Don't worry about it. Like my sister Rainbow Dash says, it's best to help out others in need. Unless they're the tabloids. Then dangle them over large, painful objects. Rainbow is your sister? Not officially, but she will be. One day. Does this mean we're friends? <gasps> we could form our own group! I've been spending a long, hard two hours trying to become a better assassin, but it's been just awful. Maybe having a couple of wingmares with me could help me boost my image and get people to start employing me. Yeah, we can call ourselves Rainbow's Renegades. The kindly ones? How about the Criminal Crusaders? I like it, but it's a bit too on the nose. Like with a baseball bat, people might see it coming. We could have a code name we use in public! How about Cutie Mug Crusaders? That is one of the most sickeningly sweet and innocent names I've ever heard. It's perfect! Dear Princess Celestia, Once again, I am amazed that my time in Ponyville has managed to be some of the most mundane crap I've ever had to deal with, and yet at the same time, completely batshit insane. I spent the last day doing what felt like helping a filly find herself, and yet it involved teaching her disguised techniques to be used for attempted assassinations. At times, it feels like I'm being forced into these situations I have no point being in, but it's ended up making the people in this town comfortable enough with me to do nice things for me. So that's a plus. I guess what I'm trying to say in this letter is that... Against all odds, I'm accepting my forced tenure in this crazy town. God help me. Hmm. Well then. Now we're getting to the good part. Because of you, I